What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at some of Shane O'Neill's hardest tricks, his last tricks, his enders, and then we're gonna try to redo them in scab, kind of like this. Uh, just hopefully better. Before we start today's video, I really want to say thank you to the Scab guys because not only did they send me the phone I'm playing Scab on, they also sent me this really awesome fingerboard. I've been using this so much and I absolutely love it. But we're not only thanking Scab in this video because this video is brought to you by the Rich Wallet. It's light, sleek and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your pocket and it honestly changed my whole pocket game for the better. But most importantly to a skateboarder like me, it just fits nicely in your pocket and I like to keep all my like really important belongings on me while I skate so it's very important that that feels good and it hasn't slowed me down. I actually think it kind of helped me with some of my tricks. I've had my old wallet from DGK for as many years as I can remember by now because it kind of saved my life in Barcelona I think on a skate trip but yeah I think it's time to retire that some of the awesome features about the wallet that I want to point out is that it holds up to 12 cards including cash there's over 30 colors and styles and I really like the carbon fiber and the titanium gunmetal which I've chosen I think they look really awesome and it honestly just feels nice to have a wallet that's like quality but if you don't take my word for it they have so many user reviews that it's crazy and they guarantee you a like life warranty so if it doesn't hold up you can get your money back and if you don't like the wallet after 45 days you can actually get a full refund so if you want to treat yourself with a quality wallet or maybe buy a christmas present for someone you love or just support this channel you can get 10 percent off with my discount code and that's including free worldwide shipping and returns all you gotta do is go to rich.com nightspeeds and use the discount code nightspeed for 10 percent off the link is in the description and i just want to say thank you so much to the rich wallet for the uh, quality wallets here and also for sponsoring this video let's just jump into it recreating shane o'neill tricks in scap i think this is going to be the very first one a switch 360 double flip down the Santa Monica triple set, which is probably one of the craziest gap tricks in skateboarding ever done, but uh, let's just give it a go. That is kind of like what I did in the intro. You know what, I probably should have warmed up a little bit, but we are just going for it. I'm accidentally breaking because I'm trying to set up for the double flip. That was technically it, but we gotta redo that. That would have been perfect. I don't know if it's getting any better, guys. We also have other tricks to do, but that was pretty good, I think. Oh my god. We're taking that one. Switch 360 double flip, let's move on to the next trick. So I thought since we were up here, we could do his last trick from his battle commander for the barracks. So we'll try a big spin, faggy nose grind down the harbor. And this is gonna be weird. I don't really think this is part of Scap to do like 180 tricks. But uh, I'll place the phone like this and maybe I can... Uh, I, I guess do something like that. Uh, it's probably gonna say 360 pop shove at 5-0 if we get it. Oh, that was actually close. Oh, we got it. Ooh, all right, all right. And we got night speeds here in the bank. Look how nice that is. It's actually the same as this one I'm using for the padding. But all right, I think we've done enough up here. So let's just move down to this rail and do the next two tricks. These are both going to be front side feeble tricks. So yeah, let's just start out with what you just saw. The tray flip front feeble. Uh, I kind of did a tray flip tail slide. tray flip front crook all right i i hope i can get over the rail you know what maybe let's start from over here we can do a tray flip and kind of get over the rail oh i think i tapped the rail and did something cool oh that was so close come on tray flip front feeble right here for shane o'neill i think i kind of did it and could you stop yelling damn it 
tray flip blunt? Stop getting the tray flip blunt! Oh, we got a tray flip front feeble. It said front side smith, but uh, it was a feeble. And then on to the next trick. So the front side feeble, and then we're supposed to do a laser flip out. I don't even know if I can like, can I do that? Just ollie into it. All right, that shouldn't be that difficult. But when I get into it, I kind of want to position my hand so that we can get the laser flip. We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, okay, okay, we got this. That's actually not that difficult. That felt awesome. And it didn't even come close. No! And stop yelling! It did say the laser flip, but I landed so sketchy. We gotta do it again. Oh, just an ollie over the rail. Barrel heel? Yeah, I guess it was pretty under-rotated. I kinda landed on the nose there. Alright, we'll give it three more, otherwise I'm taking that because it was pretty clean otherwise. Alright, that was one. What? <laughs> Did I just like laser flip to a front board or something? That's the one we're taking. Awesome. Damn. You know what? I think we're staying at the rail for the next trick. So just take a look from Shane Goes. Crooked grind, nolly flip, late front foot flip out. I don't know if this rail gives us enough time to do it, but I mean, we can try it. That was a very bad first attempt. It didn't really <laughs> pop correctly. And now I can't even land on rail. Uh, okay, it's a double flip. It's probably gonna say that even if I do it. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do it like late flipped on my phone here, but uh, we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens. Okay, that was just a flip out. Can I catch the nolly flip with like one hand and then flip it like that? If I could do that, that would be cool. Oh, I hit my mic, didn't I? Oh my god, that was so worth it. Finally, that took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> Let's go back up to the hopper and do this one because I think it's kind of quick, but it is one of the heaviest tricks in skateboarding ever done. So yeah, check it out. So a big spin back tail to fakie down clipper. How would I go about this? And it's probably gonna say pop shove it no slide or something, but we all know what it is. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I shouldn't come at it at such an angle like this. And then to Faggy. Oh, nice. All right, it's time for the last trick of the video. And it was Shane's last trick in his levels part from uh, Nike, I think. I think right up here we have a really good ledge. But yeah, oh my god, this is gonna be very, very difficult, I'm expecting. I just gotta see, I gotta do kinda like that, and then I gotta do a flip like that. Okay, okay, we will try it. Oh my god, what a bad first attempt. Alright, tray flip lip. And then... Is the board gonna flip the opposite way in game? I don't know what I should do then. Should I try to do the real trick with the handboard or get the real trick in game? Oh man, that's a tough question. Oh, that was close. It did say kickflip out, but I'm having a hard time for some reason like looking at it and seeing what it's doing. Yeah, that did not look right. I did it right with the phone though. Or did was it correct? I don't know if it did a heel flip or not. Let's let's try it again. 
Okay. Okay, that was Shane O'Neill's Ender. And then I just gotta say thank you guys for watching. Big thank you to the Scap guys and to Rich Wallet for sponsoring this video. I had a blast making it and recreating the Shane O'Neill tricks. What do we have here? Oh, not the best crook is what we have. <laughs> yeah, what up, dude? Uh, I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm ending the video. And we missed the kickflip. And we did an ollie. All right, guys. I think it's time to give my phone a little break, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in the very next video here on the channel. So until then, peace out.